Hey guys, Asip here, and welcome to Python tutorial number 8. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at uh, returning stuff from functions and also uh, function parameters, okay? And of course, arguments as well, which is a given when you have parameters. Okay, so right now you can see uh, my Python file. You can see it's slightly different from Python tutorial number 7. Uh, one of the main differences is the actual function itself, okay? Uh, now, instead of just an empty pair of uh, parentheses, we have a comma b in between the parentheses, and you can see, you can probably understand what this is, answer equals a plus b, that's creating a new variable and giving it the value of a plus b, and then something that says return answer. So what does all this mean? Well, uh, functions fundamentally allow us to pass in values because whenever you have a function anything that's in the main program will not be recognized in the function okay uh for one because python reads top down because it's interpreted uh your functions will always have to be above where they are being um used uh so in certain cases if you try and use this variable or something it won't have been created already because you'll be doing the actual calling of the function below where you created it, okay? And all the creation of the variables below where you created it. Uh, but that's not the actual reason because there are cases where you can get around that, obviously. The actual reason is just because that's programming. Programming doesn't allow variables from outside the function to be used inside the function and vice versa, okay? So, uh, when we have stuff between these parentheses that's our way of saying when you call this function you can supply it two values and those values will go into the variables a and b so then a and b can be used inside the function okay and return remember i said vice versa so variables inside the function can't be used outside well return allows us to give back a variable or list of variables we'll look at that in the future list of variables back to where where um, our function was called okay so let's go ahead and look at um, our call the, where the function is being called here we can see we're printing output we're printing the function now what actually happens is when you say print output it doesn't actually print the function obviously it doesn't actually print out we don't see on the screen pop up output 5.5 five what happens is when you say print output it runs the function before it prints uh, before it runs the print statement because remember how I talked about bid mass and bod mass and stuff and order of precedence well um, kind of relates here when you have um, a function when you have a, a list of functions so you have a function which um, when you call it in the parameter list you're calling another function and then in that inside that function you're calling another function let's say so something that would look like this func1 func2 func3 oops there we go then close it up like that okay what python does is it it reads all of this and it says oh okay i first have to run func3 then i get the value returned if there is any returned from that function then I use that for func2, and I run func2, get the return value if there is any. Then I use that for func1, run func1, and get the return value, and then that statement's done. So here, in this statement here, we got print and output. So it sees this, it's like, okay, first I need to do output, so I need to get the return value from this, if there is any, and in our case there is. So what it does is it call, we call output before we print anything out, and we're supplying it two values, 5 and 5. So the first value, 5, will go into the variable a inside the function. So a inside the function, but no, not outside the function. There is no a existing outside the function. There is only inside the function an a. a carries the value 5, and the same with b. Everything applies as well. b also carries the value 5. And then inside our function, so we call this a and b get the values both they get 5 because we've supplied 5 and 5 for both of them and then we skip up here and it runs whoops, it runs the function 
and it says, okay, answer is equal to a plus b, which is 5 plus 5, so answer is equal to 10, and now return the value answer. So once uh, output has finished running, what happens is actually the statement reads like this, okay? And the return answer bit, this would, because we're, we're returning the 10, it will replace the function call, okay? So that's ultimately what the statement will look like. And then 10 isn't a function, it d it's already been evaluated. 10 is a literal, so it doesn't need to run or anything. So you can then run the statement which is outside, which is print. And uh, there's nothing in closing print, so print is the final one, it prints out 10, and it's done. And I've just demonstrated that, so here 5 would go into A, and here 10 would go into B. Same thing would happen, and you just get 15 printed out. Um, okay, now on the third one and final one, 5 would go into A, and into B would go minus 7, and the result would be minus 2. Okay, that would be printed out. So let's go ahead and look at these first three ones running in action. Okay, so 10, 15, and minus 2, as as we uh, originally expected. And finally, I'm just demonstrating it using variables. Because uh, remember how I said uh, parameters were are really just a way to pass in variables? Well, in the first place, I was using literal values, which is also allowed, obviously, because it worked. And you, you can also use non-literal values, which are basically variables. Okay? And obviously you can pass in indexes of a list, say I had uh, my list here equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there we go. I could pass in the index of a list, so I could say my list uh, 4, that would be, so that would pass in x as 50, so 50 would go into A, and 5 it will pass in as well, so 5 will go into B, so the answer would be 55 if we run this now save it, you can see we get 55 on the second one, and uh, 50 plus a hun minus 150 is obviously 100, and then 32 uh, minus a hun plus minus 150 is actually the way it should be done, obviously, is 118. So there we go. That's, um, oh, and one more thing just before I go. The difference between parameters and arguments. Okay, parameters are the things that are acquired by the function. So when we type out this list, when we're defining the function, we're typing up our list of parameters. When you supply values in a function call, they're called arguments. So here, these are arguments. These are arguments. These are arguments. These are arguments. All these, excluding these three, because these are declarations of variables, obviously. Uh, I everything in between uh, parentheses, though, in the highlighted area are um, arguments, okay? This, these are called parameters because they don't, they're not, uh, they're just um, declarations of variables which will hold, um, well, they're not actually declar declarations, a fun it's like a, that's our function blueprint. So, it's basically saying there will be a variable called a and it will take in the value that is passed to it, the argument that is passed to it, but the a in this case is a parameter because it needs a parameter is something that has to be taken basically. Okay. So anyways guys, that is it for now over and out.